This dramatic film footage shows a fire on the roof of Bulgani Court in May 2008. The thick black smoke is a result of roofing felt and tar involved in the fire. No one was injured and the fire posed little danger to the residents, although some people were evacuated by the fire service as a precaution. The main reason that this fire was unable to spread is that the multi-storey buildings are constructed with materials that actually help prevent the spread of fire and smoke. It is extremely unusual for a fire to spread beyond the area where it started. By the end of this short production, you will have a better understanding of how you can help to keep your building safe from fires and the procedures firefighters follow when tackling a fire in a multi-storey building. When the fire service turn up to a fire in a multi-storey, there will usually be at least three fire appliances and possibly an ambulance. It is vital that residents keep the restricted parking areas clear because firefighters and equipment need to get into the building quickly. Additional delays could cost lives. One of the first jobs to be undertaken when firefighters arrive is to provide a water supply for fighting the fire. Water is pumped into an internal pipe called a dry riser, which can be connected to at the required floor. Once they enter the building, firefighters will secure the lift to get equipment and personnel to the scene of the fire. If you are escaping from a fire in your own flat, always close doors behind you and remember to take the protected staircase down to safety as the lifts will not operate as normal. It is important to stress that you should only ever evacuate your home if the fire is in your flat. By closing doors behind you as you leave, you can prevent fire and smoke spreading and limit the damage to the rest of your home. Firefighters will connect the hose to an outlet valve which can be found on each floor. These valves are normally boxed in for protection, but if vandalised, it can stop firefighters getting any water. Residents should report any damaged valve boxes immediately to the council. If the fire is not within your home, stay inside and call the fire service on 999 and report the location of the fire if it is known. A small amount of smoke may enter your flat through the gap around the door or the letterbox. If this is happening, protect yourself by stuffing a cloth in the letterbox and putting tape over the gap between the door and the frame. Remain in your home where it will be safer. Firefighters will notify you once the fire has been extinguished. The multi-storey buildings in Aberdeen are very safe in their construction and they are built to restrict fire spread. A person living in a multi-storey flat is at no more risk of having a house fire than a person living in any other type of house, as long as residents follow our safety advice. Advice notices like these will be located throughout your building, so please take time to read them. Regardless about how careful you are within your own home, deliberate fires are still a problem in some buildings. Residents can play a big part in reducing these incidents. Entry doors and bin rooms should always be kept locked. Not only will this reduce the risk of deliberate fires, it will also help to prevent other crimes. If someone does buzz your intercom, only allow entry if you know it's safe to let them in. Never store combustible items in communal areas such as drying rooms, corridors or stairways because this will increase the risk of someone deliberately starting a fire within the building. Any damage to fire panels, doors, lifts, security access systems, smoke detectors, outlet valves and illegal parking should be reported immediately in order to maintain your safety and that of your neighbours. Make sure you have smoke detectors fitted within your home and that they work. If a fire breaks out in your flat, close the doors behind you and quickly get your family out, then phone the fire service. Always take the stairs. If the fire is not in your home, stay indoors with the front door closed and call the fire service. A small amount of smoke might enter through the gaps of the letterbox or around the door, so block these up. Always report damage or vandalism to the fixtures or fittings within your building. 
never store combustible items in corridors, stairways or drying rooms. Remember, council tenants can get large items uplifted free of charge. For peace of mind and to improve the safety in your home, please contact the fire service on 01224 788 758 to book a free home fire safety visit. Multi-stories are safe places to live and with your help, we can keep them that way.